I've seen places. One million dollars, Mr. Bond. You were wondering what it cost. As a matter of fact, I was. Forgive my not shaking hands. It becomes a bit awkward with these, a misfortune. You were admiring my aquarium. Yes. It's quite impressive. A unique feat of engineering, if I may say so. I designed it myself. The glass is convex, ten inches thick, which accounts for the magnifying effect. Minnows pretending they're whales. Just like you on this island, Dr. No. It depends, Mr. Bond, on which side the glass you are. Medium dry martini, lemon peel, shake and not stir. Our job. Many people have tried to involve themselves in my affairs, unsuccessfully. <laughs> Remarkable. But what does the club secretary have to say? Oh, nothing, Mr. Bond. I own the club. I assume you want the check made out to cash. That would be perfectly satisfactory. Goodbye, Mr. Bond. Oh, uh, I believe this is yours. Taking good care of you, buddy. Such a waste. He loves me. Instinctively. Infuriatingly. Intensely. In. 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 in? Indubitably. <laughs> First a boy and then a girl. Blofeld. It's Blofeld. Bentley. Oh, he's had its day, I'm afraid. But it's never let me down. Emma's orders, 007. You'll be using this Aston Martin DB5 with modifications. Now, pay attention, please. Windscreen bulletproof, as are the side and the rear windows. Revolving number plates, naturally. Valid all countries. Here's a nice little transmitting device called a Homer. You prime it by pressing that back like this. You see? The smaller model is now standard field issue, to be fitted into the heel of your shoe. Its larger brother is magnetic. Right. To be concealed in the car you're trailing while you keep out of sight. 
Reception. On the dashboard here. Audio visual range 150 miles. Ingenious and useful too. Allow a man to stop off for a quick one en route. It has not been perfected out of years of patient research entirely for that purpose, 007. Tell me, which lunatic asylum did they get you out of? Don't make it tougher on yourself. My orders are to kill you and deliver the lecture. Oh, I do, it's my business. It'll be slow and painful. How much are they paying you? What's it to you? We'll double it. Your word of honor? As an English gentleman? Hmm. The first one won't kill you. Not the second. Not even the third. Not till you crawl over here and you kiss my foot. Underneath the mango tree, my honey and me. Who is that? It's all right. I'm not supposed to be here either. I take it you're not. Are you alone? What are you doing here? Looking for shells? No, I'm just looking. Stay where you are. I promise I won't steal your shells. I promise you you won't either. Stay where you are. You are looking at an industrial laser which emits an extraordinary light not to be found in nature. It can project a spot on the moon or at closer range cut through solid metal. I will show you. This is gold, Mr. Bond. All my life I've been in love with its color, its brilliance, its divine heaviness. I welcome any enterprise that will increase my stock, which is considerable. I think you've made your point, Goldfinger. Thank you for the demonstration. Choose your next witticism carefully, Mr. Bond. It may be your last. The purpose of our two previous encounters is now very clear to me. I do not intend to be distracted by another. Good night, Mr. Bond. Do you expect me to talk? No, Mr. Bond, I expect you to die. Neuf à la banque. I need another thousand. I admire your courage, Miss... Uh... Trench. Sylvia Trench. I admire your luck, Mr... Bond. James Bond. Mr. Bond, I suppose you wouldn't care to, um, raise the limit? I have no objection. The purpose is, madame, is illegal. Take me around the world one more time.